continues right now on News Channel 5 on your side. He served 16 years for a crime he did not commit until an exclusive 5 on your side investigation helped win him a new trial. Yesterday, Cuyahoga County prosecutors asked that all charges be dismissed in the interest of justice for Daryl Houston. An Ohio appeals court ordered a new trial after our continuing series of reports found no evidence linking Time. Well, Chief Investigator Ron Regan broke this story seven years ago, and Ron joins us now with the final chapter. Well, Leon, the decision by prosecutors confirms what our investigation has been saying all along, including an eyewitness who told us seven years ago that Houston was not the killer. This is how it all ended, but it began in 1991 when a clerk at this convenience store was shot to death. Daryl Houston spent 16 years in prison for a murder he did not commit. Stand up, sir. In court, the only eyewitness said Houston was not the killer. Look at him real good. Mm -hmm. Is that the man you saw in the store that robbed your boss? No, it's not. Sir, is that the man in the store that shot your boss? No, it's not. Within minutes, prosecutor Brian McDonough asked for the case to be dismissed. In the interest of justice, pursuant to criminal rule 48, the state of Ohio uh, would ask for this case to be dismissed. Judge Nancy Margaret Russo met with both attorneys, then dismissed all charges. I have the greatest respect for you and for your office for doing this, and I think it's the right thing to do. I will grant the motion. All the charges against Mr. Houston are dismissed. Any costs are vacated, and you are a free man today, Mr. Houston. Thank you. His mother rushed to his side in tears. Thankful for you guys believing in me. Thankful for Mr. Sims. Thankful for the courts. Thankful for the prosecutor's office. Um, it's been a long time. Defense attorney Rufus Sims agreed to defend Houston after our 2003 investigation raised serious questions about his original conviction. The state of Ohio did the right thing. They did the ethical thing. And we're very thankful for that. It's been a long, long seven years. Houston's mother never lost faith. I have faith. I believe in, in God, and I, I knew eventually this would happen, that he would be, uh, we would be free. He would be free. So he's free for, thank God, and Mr. Regan and Tim Five. Without you guys, we couldn't have done it. And as you just heard, Judge Russo singled out Assistant County Prosecutors Brian McDonough and John Hanley for what she called the highest ethical conduct she has ever seen on her years on the bench. Carol Houston and his family plan a day of prayer this Sunday mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. Ron, this is a wonderful job that you did. Absolutely marvelous job that you did, Cuss. You've walked this road for the last seven years. What, what are your thoughts about all of this? Well, you know, it was a long road. Um, and I should say at the outset that, you know, we get phone calls from prison inmates all the time and are asked to look into their cases. And I, I think it's more than fair to say when I was first contacted, you know, there's always a sense of, uh, look, you're in prison, you know, what can we do? But I think it was after we really looked at the case, looked at the case files, looked at the transcripts, looked at the uh, detective notes, uh, it was apparent that uh, there was no evidence to convict Mr. Houston. Uh, and in fact, the eyewitness, even in the first mm -hmm. trial, said that Mr. Houston was not the killer. Well, you did a wonderful job in, 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 in pushing this story all the way to get, to get him absolutely I, exonerated, acquitted, and everything, I, I, charges dismissed. I think it raised the profile, and Defense Attorney Rufus mm -hmm. Sims uh, stepped mm -hmm. in after our report mm -hmm. aired, and he deserves a tremendous amount of recognition. Many thanks, Ron Regan, You're welcome. for all that you do. You're welcome. In more ways than one.
a wrong righted. Tonight, a man convicted of murder is a free man, thanks to a seven-year, five-on-your-side investigation. Island fire, a blaze, tears through a retail square on Kelly's Island. There's a chance that they're tainted. That means I'm tainted, and I'm going down. Plus, fried nerves. Why consumers should not be boiled over about the egg recall. And Rascal's Rescue, the woman who saved this dragged dog. News Channel 5 at 6 starts now. News Channel 5, on your side, starts now. His attorney called it the worst miscarriage of justice he's ever witnessed. Tonight, breaking news in a case we've been following for seven years. A murder conviction overturned thanks to a five-on-your-side investigation. A Cleveland family is celebrating freedom tonight. Daryl Houston, convicted of murdering a store clerk in 1991, for a crime he says he did not commit. And today, a judge agreed. News Channel 5 Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now live from the Justice Center with more on the judge's decision to free Daryl Houston. Well, Leon, that's right. It was our exclusive series of reports that led to the new trial for Daryl Houston. And today, the only eyewitness in this case took the stand and told the jury that Daryl Houston was not the man he saw in the convenience store the night of the murder. Within minutes, assistant county prosecutors Brian McDonough and John Hanley asked the court for an immediate dismissal in the interest of justice. Here is what Judge Nancy Margaret Russo had to say. I have great respect for both of you, and as an officer of the court, I am just as you are an officer of the court and a lawyer sworn to the same standards, that um, I am impressed by your statement. Uh, this is certainly your case to try, and I'm happy to finish it if that's what you wish, but the fact that you take that ethical obligation so seriously, both of you, I have the greatest respect for you and for your office for doing this, and I think it's the right thing to do. I will grant the motion. All the charges against Mr. Houston are dismissed. Any costs are vacated, and you are a free man today, Mr. Houston. Thank you. And joining me live is Daryl Houston himself. And Mr. Houston, what, uh, what is your reaction after 16 years? Um, just speechless. Um, happy, grateful. Um, right now, I'm just trying to suck up everything that just happened. You, you spent 16 years in prison. You have now been three years, almost three years, waiting for your new trial. Uh, it's been just a long, long time for you. Yes, it has. It's been a very long time for me. Um, I've worked hard to get here. Uh, I'm thankful. Uh, the, I guess I can stand here and say that the justice system does work. Uh, I'd like to thank Channel 5 News. I'd like to thank everybody that played a part in supporting me and helping me get to this point where I am today. I would also like to thank the two prosecutors in, involved in this case for uh, having the utmost uh, credit. Thank you very much, Mr. Houston. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to have a lot more on this story tonight on News Channel 5 at 11. Reporting live from the Cuyahoga County Justice Center, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. Ron, brief comment from you. You worked on this story for seven years. I did. Uh, we, uh, we were first contacted by Mr. Houston. He asked us to look into the case. We found serious questions involved in that case, and it was our reporting that led to an Ohio appeals court upholding an order for a new trial for Mr. Houston. And he was freed from prison, or from prison in 2007, and today his charges were dismissed. Great work, Ron. Thank you very much. Now to a follow-up and exclusive Five on Your Side investigation, which has just won a Cleveland man his freedom. This is an amazing story. Yesterday, prosecutors dropped murder charges against 42-year-old Daryl Houston. It ended a seven-year-long investigation into Houston's case by Chief Investigator Ron Regan, whose reporting is credited with winning Houston a new trial. And Ron joins us now live with a look at how this all unfo unfolded, Ron. Well, Alicia, Daryl first contacted me from prison in late 2002. We dug into police reports, tracked down the only eyewitness, even found a photo of the possible killer. Our first report aired in 2003, starting with the crime itself. 
September 24th, 1991. I heard a shot. Cleveland police are searching for a killer. Blood everywhere. James Pope, a clerk, is the only eyewitness. Dial 911 and did everything I could to save my friend. On the streets, news of the store's owner being shot and killed spread quickly. But what happened next has haunted James Pope ever since. They got the wrong person. This is the man police arrested that night. Daryl Houston was serving 33 years to life. Three months later, in July 2003, a motion for a new trial was filed, and it included the findings of our investigation. The report you guys did, Channel 5, made a big difference in everything. Channel 5 gave the case a face. Channel 5 brought the case to the attention of the public. In January 2004, James Pope told a judge what he told us in our original report. I just couldn't stomach it, him in there, and I know he didn't do it. But it took three more years of legal battles before Judge Nancy First allowed a new trial to proceed. In the interest of justice and for the, the court's uh, wish to, to make sure that we have everything on the table that should be, uh, I am going to grant you the uh, <coughs> privilege here of filing a motion for a second motion for new trial. A private investigator credited our investigation with helping to track down a photo of a suspect defense attorneys say is the real killer. Well, we received a photo from Ron Reagan. Who was, who, who was Ron Reagan? The investigative reporter for News Channel 5. He's in Copeland right now? Yes, he is. Sitting to your right in the blue jacket? Yes, he is. Okay. One month later, in November 2007, Daryl Houston was freed from prison to await a new trial. <laughs> And 14 months later, in January 2009, the Ohio Court of Appeals upheld Houston's right to a new trial. And, Your Honor, uh, I will say that um, we've had the assistance of, uh, of, of Channel 5 News. They've been involved in the case about six years. Uh, they're here today uh, around the Channel 5. Today. Finally, almost 19 years after Houston was first arrested, his trial ended with all charges dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, meanwhile, Daryl Houston says he believes that God has a plan for his life, and it included everything he has gone through for the last two decades. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan. What a story. Many thanks, Ron Regan, and thank you for what you did to effect all of that.